Hey guys, this past weekend I went to the original Sewing and Quilt Expo at Fredsburg, Virginia, in Fredsburg, Virginia, excuse me, and I just wanted to show you my little haul. This is a pamphlet or program that we received when purchasing tickets. So as you can see, it started on Thursday and it ended on Saturday. Um, the pamphlet goes over all the different classes, all the different vendors, what times, um, the different shows will be... Um, held um, different activities that are going to happen there it gives you an outline of where things are going to be at um, when you see the vendor and not only it has a name and what location they're going to be located in the expo, expo center big tells their address where their store is at their website their email if they have any so it was a really nice um list we had a lot of people to show up and it was a lot of fun and i did a lot of shopping so i thought i'll do like a little mini haul for you guys today so outside of tickets, um, the next thing that I, first thing I purchased was this big bag, and it was offered with the um, tickets. If you paid an additional five dollars, you were able to get this big tote bag. I decided to purchase this to put all my stuff in that I bought, and I love how it had a little pocket, which was perfect for my program, which was easy um, to reach for when I was looking for a particular vendor or for a class. One of the first went, things that I purchased was um, these two books. This one's two from one jelly roll quilts. And this one is all dolled up, sewing clothes and accessory for girls and their 18 inch dolls. If you do not know, I have Mary and Girl dolls and I loved um, dressing up my doll as a child and playing with them and be able to have those matching clothes. I think it'd be a really cool gift to give to someone who has a doll and also have clothes and matching. Also something that I might even put on my shop to sell. So the cool part is it comes with a CD-ROM in the bag and patterns. So I thought that was really neat. And it has some really cute stuff. This book was $29.99. So you bought one, you get one 50% um, off. So that's why I went ahead and bought two to take part of the deal. And it's a really nice um, quilt book. I love um, sewing with jelly rolls when I'm making my quilt tops because they're a lot easier. It's already cut up the fabrics already cut for you and the colors are already matched and put together in a nice roll so it just you know to me it's just a lot easier than trying to match up a bunch of different fabrics to make a quilt this book was $14.99 oh that was it's actually $24.99 that was the UK price but um the US price was $24.99 so it's a really nice books I think they're really good quality I'm excited I think this book comes with a CD-ROM. Wait, no, it doesn't. So only this book comes with a CD-ROM. But um, these have some really great patterns in here. So um, if you guys are interested, you definitely look those up. Right, so this is the pumpkin patch round. I thought this would be darling on one of my glass coffee tables, so I decided to get two. It seemed like a really simple project to be able to complete. And I get love done. how all of her kits come with everything that you would need. So there goes your needle. There goes your thread, and here's all the pieces that are cut out in here. So I thought it was really nice, especially great for a beginner. Um, this is a great gift to give somebody to as well who is starting out. You don't have to buy a bunch of different individual um, project pieces. So I got two of those to put on my table. And then this is the wall hanging I'm going to put on my office or craft room door here. It's a so blessed wall hanging and I'm actually currently working on that right now and I think we'll do a review on um, this kit and the um, directions and the project itself so you guys can kind of see what my finished product looks like I moved the pieces around just a little bit to kind of fit my personal um, style I guess but I'll show you that when I'm done but everything comes included in her projects you know she gives you an, a, blue, a blown up image uh, the directions of how things each stitch should look. She take, has a little website, so you can just kind of look her up and um, find out where you um, find out where she has where her stores is located at. And if I remember, I'll put it in the link below, or more likely in a blog post. So I thought that was really neat. And I actually got two other. This is Oh Saint Nick, and this one is a um, little carnal ornament. I thought this would be really cute on a Christmas tree. And this one um, is from a different store. This is Carried Away. You guys can see that as it's showing up. This is from Carried Away. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys the prices of this one. This wall hanging kit was $39.50. 
and the pumpkin patch round was $24.90. But I got a discount on this store because I bought more than one um, pattern. But this store is carried away and they have a lot of different applique, wool applique designs. Very pretty, very simple. I thought this would be really easy for me to complete. It has all the uh, wool that you would need for the project as well as the directions inside there. Um, they were $12 each, so I didn't think that was too bad. And from the store across from it, I saw this beautiful bag of lavender. It smells divine. All about the blanks, there's their website right there. I thought it was absolutely wonderful. www.allaboutheblanks.com. So I thought this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Can you guys smell that? Just kidding. But look at those. So my idea is to make these ornaments and put some of these um, lavender petals inside here. They have a nice scent to it, whether you hang them on your door, in your office, on a tree, or give them away to gifts. So I may actually make some more different ornaments because she has a pattern in here and I can just trace it out and just make, you know, multiple as giving away for gifts. I, I took a make it and take it class at the expo and I made this beautiful leopard print bag. It has little ribbon handles on either side which made great for travel because you can hang it up in the closet if you want to but I am currently using this bag to hold my hand stitching um, tools and items it zips right down the middle and we use a um, really nice serger the whole concept is hey get addicted to this serger and make a project on it and you want to buy one yourself so I'm trying to open this up with one hand so as you can see, the bag opens up in the middle nicely, and I have some floss in here. This floss I actually bought from Joann's, um, not at the expo, but I bought the floss particularly for this these projects right here, for my old Saint Nick and for my little red bird. I'm going to be using these colors. I wanted to keep it simple, so I thought these colors would look nice with this project with the creams and the gold and the kind of green and the um, tan color. I thought it really looked Christmassy without overdoing it. But yeah, I thought that would be really cute to, to go with that project. But this was a really easy bag to make. You can use your sewing machine to make this bag. But they wanted us to use a serger and they just wanted to show us what the sergers could really do. It's really nice. It, the serger that we used to write it itself. But um, yeah, completely finished bag. I love it. This is actually an item that was given to me, went to a shop, don't remember the name of it. Top of my head, if I remember, I'll put a, um, a link or a card up um, in this video, but it's a ribbon magnet. So I thought that was really cool because I'm going to put it on my whiteboard with my, um, my sewing room here and that way I can put up different patterns I'm working on or just different notes I need. Um, to look at. So that was a cute magnet made out of ribbon. You might be able to make something like this yourself. I don't know if you're skilled to make little bows like this, but I thought it was really, really neat. And one of the last things that I purchased was this scarf. This shop that they hand make these scarves. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to open it up completely, but I will give you guys a nice look at it. Gorgeous, right? And then I got, sorry for the crinkly noise, this scarf ring to go along with it. So the idea is you're tying the scarf and you're tucking the ends into the ring and it's a different, very unique way to wear a scarf. I thought that was a really nice ring. Very pretty. I don't remember the price of this ring. This class was um, $10 for that. And I don't remember the price of the embroidery floss. And I got the pearl one, by the way. I don't know where is it says it on here. But this is the pearl floss. And that is it, you guys. Here's some cards. So this is Fabulous Finds. I believe she was the one that gave me the magnet. I believe she was the one who gave me the magnet. I believe she was. Not 100% sure. But there was just so many different shops and it was just really hard to um, not buy everything that you see. There's another beautiful shop. All about the blanks. 
this is where um, I got the lavender from. And this was another shop. Oh, this was so funny. They had these cute little pillows that um, had little quirky sayings and different embroidery of stuff using wool. Very cool patterns. Um, they had this um, painter, something that you can brush on your your work and then you can bake it in the oven and it gives it kind of like an age look. It's very cool. You can put it on, like, on your stuff cats that you may make or animals or um different things that you want to do out of wool but that's her shop thought it was really cool but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my little um haul that i had from the original sew and quilt expo i hope you guys decide to go to one if you're really interested in sewing i love traveling and going to these different expos um, every time they have it, um, I tend to go more than once because there are different shops I didn't get to see. And a lot of times they'll have the same shop. So I'll be keeping an eye out for the next expo that I can travel to. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful and beautiful day. Bye. When I was there the last time, I was working on my little sunbonnet suit. Is that what you were asking about, Renee? Yes. I was wondering if you um, got it done or not. Here. Oh my goodness.